Hello there, and thank you so much for joining me in this week's video all about my top three favorite free virtual manipulatives websites. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Again, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top three virtual manipulative websites for you to use in your middle school math class. Manipulatives are such an essential part in making teaching math visual for our students, easy to understand, and bringing it to real life. And so often, virtual manipulatives, I think, are like often overlooked because we don't think about it, but we don't always have the budget to have real hands-on manipulatives. So virtual manipulatives are really the next best thing. And I wanna share with you my top three sites. Again, it's totally free for you to use and grab. I've linked all these sites in the description box below. I have no affiliation with any of these. These are just three of my personal favorites to use. So let's jump right in. Okay, first is from Toy Theater. Toy Theater actually has a ton of different things, but if you go into the math section and in their virtual manipulatives, they have a ton of stuff. Marble jars. I love the interactive clock because even though we're in middle school, our students do not know how to tell time unless it's, you know, like a let it's a watch that tells you the exact time. Um, just so many things, angles, spinners, um, pattern blocks, so many counters. I love these because especially for teaching integers. Um, I just make my own counters, but you know, these are perfect too. So this is toytheater.com. The next site is mathplayground.com. Math Playground actually has a ton of like fun games, but their manipulatives are also really, really great. I love the decimal charts, the multiplication charts, because all our students really need help with um, multiplication. The modeling algebra is also really great. And the fraction bars are also really, really great just to really make adding, subtracting fractions really, really visual. Last is actually my favorite site to use. It is Mathagon Polypad. And I love this because there are so many things that you can choose from here. Um, there's a geometry section, there's algebra, so you can pull up the algebra tiles. Um, you know, there's fraction bars. So if you're, you know, you can really make it visual. And if you don't want, uh, I think there's a way to, uh, oh yeah, split the tiles. And, you know, it's like there's so many different things that you can do with this instead of, you know, it's like you can visually show your students one third, one third, one third equals one. But then you can also break these apart. Um, you know, fraction circles. There's just so much in here, base 10 blocks, you know, I remember growing up and having my teachers have base 10 blocks, but we don't always have the budget for this, right? So, you know, balancing scales, probability is something that I really, really struggle with, like on a personal level. And so all of this is awesome playing cards. There's so much you can do with the Mathagon Polypad. And I encourage you to try all of these. Again, we have Toy Theater, Math Playground, and Mathagon Polypad. I, again, have no relation to any of these sites. I just personally love them and use them in my own class to really make math visual. And I encourage you to check it all out. If you need the links, they are right below in the description box to head straight there. Pick one, go for it, play around with it. You will love it. And it's really going to make math come to life visually for your students. I thanks again for joining me in this week's video and I will see you next time. Bye for now.